Language is one of the key factors, uh, with a predominance in looking at, at slang, pigeons and creoles, um, either within the Pacific, uh, uh, within uh, Southern Africa, which is where my family and own heritage is from, um, or it generally within our region, so forms of pigeon such as top pigeon from Papua New Guinea or, or Bislama from Vanuatu. I've worked with a, a, one particular group of islanders from an island called Matasso, which is part of the Shepherd Islands in uh, Vanuatu, uh, since about 2004, and that was predominantly working in print media. Um, but at the same time, I mean, which is a, a, a quite separate project, I, I started working on my own particular projects, which were collaborative, incorporating more traditional art forms and weaving was one of those, working with uh, friends, aunties and, and, and mothers who have a, a long tradition of, of, of weaving from that region. Travel is, I think, an underlying element of, of, of my work and so I'm often exposed to various forms of, of, of slang. You know, when I'm in situations uh, overseas or in the Pacific, as I'm saying where I work, um, I guess that the anagrams are actually, some of them are invented from those forms of, of pigeon or slang into English um, and it's really just a means of, uh, of compressing something and drawing something else out. Um, but always when I use uh, language I'm, I'm aware of the, uh, the materiality of it. It has to translate into something textually in material so that with the mats they're uh, really um, a quite literal means of interweaving the language within the uh, well within the concept. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm in my own precarious age. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else.